Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Old World Blues, A to Z series, in which we're playing as the Cab Vultures because I completely left them out when I was first doing this and they were actually not even a nation when I was first doing the A to Z series and uh, so here we're at. Um, we're led by Mad Villain, you know, so aptly named Mad Villain, the last two Greyhound, Terra of Bigar, friend to Stoon, and murder of the Stampede Folk. Though some are quick to call him a force for good off of his history with Chief Burned Tongue, his actions have proven that he and his fellow cab vultures that dare to remain are little more than crooks masquerading as truck riding Robin Hoods offer blood as much as they are for money. But legends of the last great ride. Once we rode across the Canadian prairies unfettered, and then practically overnight we did it. The stampede is much to answer for. Every night on the score. Years ago, the cab vultures rode far and wide across the Canadian prairies in great big painted rigs. To the country folk of the CPF, the trucks came asunder before the lightning. Heard before they were seen, when they would arrive, they demanded two things, each cash, and the opportunity to spread the word. The various spray-painted tags across the Canadian West are all attributed to one place, the families of the cab vultures, obsessed with leaving behind, symbols and messages for their kin to find later, to some making an entirely new generation of hieroglyphs, for years. The rating gave them great stories and legends, until the CPF shattered. The most dastardly among them saw opportunity in the bleeding gut of the communists, and his name was Mad Villain. The great last patriarch of the Greyhound family, with him being a man who never took off his helmet before his friends and family, many great myths were perpetuated, perpet, uh, perpetuated about him, but what did the people say the most about him? His vigor was unmatched. Ooh. The families of Cab Vultures rally in the city of Battleford. More reinforced to breakthrough, people would always follow Master of his Steed, Master of his Steed, Master of his Stead. When motor is attacked, production cost goes down, roars, or expert manipulator. Um... Cap's income goes up and more via political power. Well, we get almost not even one a day. Mad Villain's Quest. For the last seven years or so, Mad Villain's been doing his utmost best to provide for the motor families that remain. It's only now that the opportunity strikes and the stampede may now be able to be broken in the same fashion they broke us. Um, Warhorse, Expert Manipulator, Master. I like the attack. It's not much, though. Better production cost, better reinforcement breakthrough. Um, you know what? I want to go with this vigor was unmatched. Rear View Beauty. There's nothing truly like the view from the rear view mirror, especially when that you see is some poor fool on a horse who just can't seem to look, keep up. Oh, okay, so we have 14 divisions. That's nice. Greyhound Motorhomes. What is this? 12 combat width. Motorized enforcers. Ooh. We have three factories. Um, it looks like we need some enforcers here then. And then we have infantry. Just normal infantry. All right, so gay Greyhound Gas Grabbers with a Greyhound Motorhome. Okay. Um, local leaders, they're all the same. Um, I don't like this because we are kind of screwed all around here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Would that be good enough, maybe? Get there and just sit there, maybe? I, I don't know. How, how many more days do we have until they want to come kill us? my question. Oh, okay, we got a little bit of time. Okay, that's good. All over the CPS lands, the Cal Vultures rode as highwaymen, pillaging and plundering the wounded and splintered state. They fought from Bymore all the way to the Kingsley, with a wickedly well-placed horde of trucks descending on wayward soldiers of the carpet path through the province, but it was not to be. Uh, Lockhart's, a family of another creed from Alberto, stood against them. The traps were set along the road like spiked strips and pressurized explosives, killing dozens of truckers and great wrecks that still litter the land. Before they could resuscitate, another challenge appeared from Saskatchewan. Sundals. The child's folk were savage, and there was no sacrilege or destruction foreign to them. Some were even found feasting on the corpses of our brother and his ghouls. Hastings, we try to retrieve them. These people destroyed us once, but so long as there is fuel in our engines, we too we must rely on the name of those who have fallen. It is in their names we crave triple digits, and in their memory we honor the threes and eights. Rear up those engines, we've got a score to settle. Rivals on the prairie. Qu equipment capture ratio goes way up. Better attack against them, but less worse defense. Interesting. And then vengeance completed. We need own grace table, which we don't. One beer left. More stability wouldn't be bad. Energy still capacity and speed versus production cost and reliability. Oh. What do my other research slot? We only have two. Painting our cabins a money folding. Well, I guess we'll be painting our cabins. Whatever his family you're from, one thing's for certain: we're all vultures in the end, and vultures need decorum. There's nothing more sad than a bare cabin for a vulture. Bunch of truckers here, man. Bring heat like the boy done gone to war. Mad Bill was no fool, and neither were the Greyhounds. As a uh, skiers, Wolverines and keg wheels scattered into the winds with Kingsley Fall. The Greyhounds fled to Battleford, licking their wounds and taking small jobs and contracts to survive. 
It was in their dealings with the Prairie Solomon, or Pierre Solomon and Stoon that they found some form of purchase, allowing them to just get enough to feed their children and keep their engines running. But the money ran dry and the stampede took yet another bite of our lives away from us. This cannot be allowed to stand. The Cavultures families will stand again. Oh, it's about time. Oh, crap. Uh, we're not ready for this. Motorhome. Fast shot. Seems good to us. And we're going to grab... They're a lot of the same guy. Right, let's go Baldy. Oscar Clayton. Oh, he's a cannibal. Okay. Truth be told, I have no idea how this is going to end up. So, um, it's going to go very good for us or very poorly for us. So, we're going to save. This is probably going to go very poorly for us because the, the enemy horses, they do have armor on them. And uh, we can't really pierce them. So, we might have to use cons commands here for better or for worse and just see what happens, you know? Old songs, civvies, uh, damaged garrisons. Uh, we need resources. Like, we need um, keg wheels must be brought back into the fold. Wolverines. Listen to skiers. Uh, one beer left. With so much of our livelihood taken from us by the Great Stampede, we must endeavor to recover our lost treasures or resources. To do so, we must build a stable industry once again and also secure supplies for our trucks. Consult safe haven garages. Motorized. Better cost. Division speed. I like this one more. The people of Denner have been friends for people for generations. And so, too, we've been loyal customers. The Denner family would be happily supply us again given the chance. The rage of the machine. Our machines must be at their absolute peak. We let us resuscitate our workshops with thanks to Jacob Dundern. The Dundern estate providing us a help to deserve proper compensation in the old ways. Let us deliver them some supplies we believe to be of use. The way of the north. Or the way of the world. Uh, the way of the world is always changing and adapting. We must be ready to move with it, lest we be left behind in the ashes of the new age and trading from afar. Though we may not use caps for internal trade, the outside world creates such knickknacks. We must endeavor to gather a bunch. Oh, god dang it. Why do we get to war with them? Uh, workshop on the move. Uh, our workshops have always been safely tucked away within the trailers of our trucks. As such, they're easier to destroy in the event of an incursion, and easier to hide, too. Uh, mobile generators. The mobility of our motor families necessitates mobile generators. For years, our motor shamans have mastered the art of electricity, even harnessing it in our trucks while they are on the move, such as their magic, such as their wisdom, the old songs. Before Mad Villain's death, hello? Mad Villain's death, the stampede destroyed much of, so much of our culture, all sore than the minds of our now lost operators. Some say that the lost scriptures are kept in the grey stable, near the very ashes of what was once Kingsley, a gross monument to our death, and salvaging L Lloyd's graveyard. The tanks of the CPF have been through much in the past few decades, leaving many as tattered shells both in the lands of the stampede and the CPF remnants. We'll take what we can and see if we can't retrofit some into our own. Oh god, this is not good. This is really not ideal. Get in there too. Uh, we really don't have divisions to spare here. Um, I mean, if we lose that tile, it's not the end of the world. We're doing okay. I'm more worried about this one here. Um, at this point, we're just going to do this as well. Can you go here? And do okay? Well, we're doing alright so far. We can't pierce them. Well, actually, we can pierce each other. It's a little unique. At least that's good. Um, we're going to race to get these two arms workshops. Because it takes a little longer to get over here. Well, it actually takes one, two, three. One, two, three. Well, whatever. Because right now, we need, we need crowd control. We need guns. And we need dynamite and everything else. And scrap trucks. So, tax them. I don't think they'll give it to us, but whatever. Um, what is this? Skiers. They're our last sort of to be around Safe Haven. Far, far away from the usual tricks. But it sounds like we'll, we're looking there. will be our best bet. The last uh, anyone heard of the Metal Fingers. Uh, he was hanging around the last of uh, the Bi Moor bandits. Nothing great to be gained from that. But it's always... Known where his loyalties lie, let's pay him a visit. The keg wheels. Anyone last heard of the keg wheels? They were playing ball with the stampede. Far from ideal, but we can't fault them for doing whatever it takes to survive. We have to hope that they hear the horn and remember the old songs. Also, like I said, we have two research slots. Not good. Not good whatsoever. This is worrying me over here, on the left side. We don't have resources for anything here. Um, you know what? You're gonna be inspirational. You're gonna learn as much as you possibly can. It's only 20%, but it's you know it's whatever. Um, is there anything we can do here? 
Toothpick, not really worth it. Is there anything unique here? Old Motorhead family. Well, that's unique. The Kegels must be brought back. Military theorists, we're going to go with conventional warfare. Um, because we're going to use mobile enforcement. Well, actually, you know what? We, we are using Oval Blues. Oval Blues tech expansion. And Oval Blues radio as well. So, we might... Asymmetric warfare wouldn't be bad. Since we're using motorized or enforcers already. But that doesn't help out with locals. That just helps, uh, uh, helps us out. Not at all. Army, Breakthrough, Cazador, Venom. I think we'll go with... We're going to use a lot of vehicles, maybe. Because we eventually do get um, vehicle tech. Sophisticated vehicle tech. So... And we're decent on pretty much everything here, actually. We don't have good special forces, fine. Uh, we have no robotics, whatever. Exploitation's not good. Construction's not good. Electronics is not good. Naval vessels don't matter. Everything else we're generally okay on. So, broken tribute, what do you expect? How many have we lost? 41 versus 124. Uh, how's a great stampede looking? They don't have a lot of manpower. We actually have more manpower than them. Uh, we might go with uh, Golden Gecko. I always get that. We need apps. Uh, hello? Oh, th oh they're, yeah, they're just fine on a sale. Yeah, my bad. Forgot about that. Just keep hanging out. See what you can do. Head down here, too, if you need to. It's fine. This is a pretty brutal way of doing everything, but you know, it is what it is. Secret language, nice. Uh, your enforcers. I'd rather you all just learn. You're a cannibal, so be inspirational, you cannibal. Because we literally have nothing. And we have, we don't even have that. We have eight caps. Which is basically nothing. Um, so yeah, it's not going great. The money we can get, I'm going to use to buy guns. So that'll be good. As much as I want to do that, uh, we need guns. <laughs> now we have point seven one. Not even a cap. Not even a cap, man. Looks like he's learning though. Mobile generator's good. And you know what? A hundred political power would not be bad. Can we spend it on someone very useful? Experienced diplomat. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Slaver. Less stability. Resource efficiency gain. More political power. Less stability. Oh, daily compliance thing go, gain goes way down. That's not ideal. Settlement Raider, it's not worth it. Um, military theorists would be decent. Caps, anything unique? Uh, motorized and whatnot. Anything over here? Chief of the Army, offense 5%, defense 5%. Stubborn guy. More organization, transfer speed, that's good. Expanding the gain. Better speed, organization, lots of moving. And we'll probably go with Charles Scales in the end. Um, artillery specialists, anything here very unique that we could use immediately? I like the attack. Ooh, Raider Recruiter, that's very good too. We definitely have to go with Raider Recruiter. Brute. Uh, more, less HP, less defense, more breakthrough, more attack. Uh, I'm not sure. So it doesn't look like there's anyone really that I want to say, yep, we have to have him. We have to have this person. We have to have this advisor. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to go with a Golden Gecko. Mm, political power, we don't even get one a day. Let's hope for stability and with more money. Yeah, we'll do that one first. And all more military factories. Oh, one beer left. And appeal to these guys, and we're going to grab these guys, and we'll give it away to the world as well. Vulture culture. The motor families always prioritize scavenging over anything else. We're survivors, nomads. Craftsmen only when we need to be. If you can't find it, maybe you shouldn't have it. Maybe you shouldn't. Not looking good here. Not looking decent here either. You're not, you know what? If you lose here... Honestly, that doesn't hurt us. That really doesn't. So, retreat there. Stay. All to hold. We're gonna be like this for quite a while. Um, who are you leading? You're leading infantry. Um, you know what? Go with a better recovery rate because I might convert them later on in the campaign. I just don't know yet. Depending on what we do. You're not allowed to lose this though. One beer left. If I have to, though, maybe a few funky things will happen off screen because uh, this is uh, not good for us. Really not good for us. 
146 versus 500 some. I'm not worried about manpower yet. This is general production specialization. We will need as much output as possible. Of course, you still get attacked. This is worrying me now. Go to Battleford. We also need anti tank as well. Of course. Gives us more war sport, which will be good. Um, pop up one higher too. Get in here too. Uh, we're losing here as well. It's not good. How much more manpower do they have? My God. Looks like malicious, huh? What do you have? Uh, negotiator, tough leader. Oh, you know what? We'll go tough leader. That's someone I don't usually get to choose, so. Should help us out immediately. Help us recover a little bit faster, maybe. How many guns are we out? 300 some, uh. Holy, holy, where did you, where did their divisions go? You literally cannot lose here. Oh, we actually another division. Nice. Infantry template. Where's this from? I'm not going to complain. You have to retreat here, so be it. You stack up more divisions here this way. Ohm's Law. Uh, research speed, maybe. Guess there's no point in doing that, even if you're not going to survive long enough. How are you losing up here? How? I think the cat vultures need a buff. Get out. I don't know why we would go to war with them. I think that was a really dumb thing. Where the world's good. Um, more stability is nice. The women not use cast from total trade. The outside world creates such knickknacks. We must endeavor to give it, gain a bunch, and we'll keep doing this for a while. And we'll kind of see where we're at in just a little bit. Well, here we're at now. Um, so the great or the grand stampede, the great stampede, all died because the Order of Saint George, as well as the Kingdom of Manitoba, both declared war on me, the cab vultures, or us, and the great stampede. So they died easily. However, um, we can't do this alone. So basically, th through the power and the magic of that mysterious Khan's commands, I made them go to war with pretty much everyone around them. The Blighted Woods, the Gateway, State of Moose Jaw, Metis Congress, Old Believers, Republic of Three Rivers, and the Arbor Junto to balance things out a little bit because we got 16 divisions max. We're struggling here. Uh, vulture culture though? The Motor families have always prioritized scavenging over anything else. We're survivors, nomads, craftsmen only when we need to be. If you can't find it, maybe you shouldn't have it. And bounty scavenger. There's plenty of old scrap for the old trucks that still litter the roads in the Stampede's lands. So let's take what we can and honor the fallen. And we're going to listen to Skiers, because it gives more attack, recovery, rate, and speed. Cookie's always been true to her name. A real cookie guy, or girl for sure. 
She's always been fond of tricking her engines out for the simplest of tasks. Raids that go fast and hard, the sort that'll make anyone who gets in her way believe in ghosts all over again. Because we did this down here, too. So, um, we're going to see what we can do here. No guarantees on anything. Um, these guys are still infantry, right? Eventually, I do want to make a motorized, so we're going to go with lead foot, actually. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, maybe we can do okay. Maybe we can't. I just, I, I really don't know. Since I've never played these guys, and I would never recommend playing these guys, because they're not easy to play as. Sure, we're going to go out. We're going to do what we can. Get as much of the territory as we possibly can, and go from there. Um, yeah. So, we are actually negative on guns again, but what else do you expect? And I apologize for having to use cons commands, but you know, at this point, like, what else are we supposed to do here? Like, no joke. Because this is kind of ridiculous. There's one thing to fight the get the Great Stampede, which we already struggled with. But it's another thing to take on the entire Kingdom of Manitoba with the Order of St. George. Like, hello? So, it is what it is. We do what we can. And, you know, go to Rosetown first. There you go. Cut those guys off. Ish. I mean, they still have command power and whatnot. Uh, especially with the lack of resources that we have. Or resources that we really do not have. Oh, the Skier family. The Skiers are the youngest of the four motor families, hailing from the Cascades. The Mountaineers in the passes ensured they had no home left in the mountains, and so we welcomed them as their own. They were quick to adopt their traditions and culture, though they carried with them a strange sort of frat energy about them. That leaves most of the motor families to dismiss their lower rank and file as drunkards and addicts. So they proved themselves to be more than capable of surviving near safe havens on steady borders for so long. Under headlights, reflections on their goggles was just as good as any reunion could get, from mountains and molehills or truck tracks. can circle and that'd be great. Find him, kill him. How dare you, Kingdom of Manitoba. How absolutely dare you. Uh, hello? Now you guys go here. New Vegas is downfall out of manpower. So, we're, we're, oh, we're on ra already on Raider bands. Well, um, Apollo's Apocalypse. Oh. Expert negotiator, motor family sovereign, war horse. Whatever, just show up. We don't care. Don't get in our way. Mobilization speed. More worse, but that's not really worth it. Chief of the Air Force. Zach Mead, Leonida Green. Worst air accidents chance, better strategic bombing. It's only 3%, though. Production costs. Eh, we don't really have air support really right now either. Efficiency and gain, versus efficiency gain, a better production efficiency base. You know, go the political power, screw it. Might as well. Well, hopefully we'll win somewhere here. Hey, there you go, nice. Oh god, they have actually power over there too, huh? Ah. I want you all to go here. Um, yeah, but, but you're all going to help out here regardless right now. Because we need you to help destroy these divisions as fast as possible. Leaving enemy divisions here alive is the worst thing that we could do. So we're not going to do that. Good. And beautiful. Battle plans, field fortifications, just please. Oh, what do we have here? Vengeance completed. Oh. Mad villains revenge was sweet but hollow. There was much to do and much to mull over, and so much had happened that there was little time to truly ponder it. In the coming days, he would need to sit down and iron out the exact events. Political power, arming speed, remove rivers, rivals on the prairie. Grants claims on all courts of stampede and decisions to demand any territory that they may have surrendered. Oh, that's great. Do we have any support equipment anyways? No, whatever. Nope. Good. Vacuum tubes are nice. Radios, yes. We're gonna need a lot of manpower. Holy cow. Okay, safe haven, what the heck? 
Uh, what, what would you need? All this? Bro. Cultural hallmarks. Fate of the couple's loyalists. Um, trophies from a culture held as decorum and grace table. They include dream catchers made of steel wool, weapons adorned with fuel stains and recruit spray paint, and parts of our fallen truckers' vehicles. So Let us return what we can to the rifle motor families. Can we return them and then demand a rifle territories? Would that is that possible? Fate of the couple's loyalists. Mad Villain's quest for vengeance was meant to be thorough, but it just wasn't that simple. Nothing like death ever w was. The fate of John Lockhart and Amy Lee Sundell weren't that easy to sort. Those who fought for them were just doing what they thought was right, seeking vengeance the same as he did. Was he right to kill them truly? Lockhart's gathering the lost. Oh, uh, the Sundells. The Sundells were cannibals who tried to turn into a leap, but they were still murders all the same. They, the motor, they motor family men like dogs, running them down from bigger all the way to Lacadia now. Lacadia now. Their legacy will be that of blood and that of that earned. Gather the law. Some of our motor family kin chose to live in Grace Stable, seeking a home amongst their perceived conquerors. Given the chance, they would gladly return to our fold in Lockhart's. Um, the Lockhart's were frontiersmen, and they were as full of themselves as one could get. They chased down our truckers on horseback, leaving explosive charges under them, and watching them from afar with laughter as they watched our drivers explode unwittingly. And Thrace City, Thrice Ward. Kingsley, Grace Stable, whatever you want to call it, has always been a place where sycophants and predators will flock. Some suppose that we just are another breed, occupying the same land. They would be correct. So we give it to them, and we get it back. Does that work? Let's return it. And that's demanded. Fallen our ultimatum. Mayor Showtime of Safe Haven seen wisdom in the related message accepting your territorial demands. Safe Haven soldiers have withdrawn from the border, and our own troops have rapidly moved to occupy the contested territory. While well, the situation remains tense on the border, from now warp to another country has been averted. So this should not count down anymore. This should not count down. And I think it's still going to count down, fortunately. Hmm. What if... This. You and half. Half of you just gonna stay here. Cookie? Metal fingers. Uh, I'll go with you. Go. Could we hold them off? We gave them what they wanted, and they still didn't like it. Hey, Grace Table, nice job, Grace Table. Uh, are they in the same faction or are they by themselves? That's the real question. Miscounts, huh? Safe Haven. That's quite a bit, 100. Um, I was going to go with this one for now. Mm, outside of battalions. Oh, we have no manpower, don't get me wrong. Not bad. So, they have a war goal against us. We can go, go to war with them too. Oh, so okay. So I think we'll end it there then. Um, we'll may take a little bit of land maybe, uh, but really we're here just to survive. So if you liked the first episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll try to continue surviving as the Cap Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.